This guy's super creepy. What are you shaking your You're head at, bro? You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers, then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, forthright, stubborn. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms, so far at least. Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. Yes, let's do it, bro. I'm doing well. Got the thumbs up from the creepy guy in the library. I'm feeling good here, boys and girls. I'm feeling good. So we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball. Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Oh, needless to say, this lady was impressed. <laughs> well played there, man, no? Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe oh. he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Him and Fuss oh, are both gone. Oh, we found a Wonder what's going on down below the deck. I left deck. it below deck if you want to check it out. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mrs. Julia Smith? Honestly, I wasn't sure how it would feel, but now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So, I guess we should talk about wedding plans, eventually. Now you're speaking my language. Gotta keep Take the relationship good here. Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything together. I was so worried you might say no. Of course I was gonna say yes, you dimwit. I'm happy you did. The second you said yes, I could see our whole future rolling it's out. It's kind of similar too. Both of these. I love you, Alex. I can't put a finger on where I know these two from, but their character models look very familiar. Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. I'll go find them. You just relax. Everyone's disappearing down below. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. You should get distracted so, with him. So, which one is, uh... You know, where the magic happens. <laughs> Guy's so corny. What's your problem? Give it a rest already. Okay, that's enough of that. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. Uh-oh. That might have... Okay, cool. We're, we're still cool, Conrad. He was definitely... Being a bit aggressive there. Very creepy vibes coming from Conrad. Very rapey vibes. All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. What is it what you over here? Camera? So, oh, the GoPro. Post proposal. Relieving, honestly. Been carrying that around for a while. Everything we saw down below. I wanted it to be memorable. It's not that memorable. Air Rescue Service, Conlon Island. Popping the question on the bottom of the ocean like that is pretty romantic. I think it's going to be important to remember that Conwin Island. Proud of you, bro. I couldn't have done it without such a... Yeah. Oops. Oh, bro. Bro. Wait, what do you mean? You told me Let's to go get that tablet. One, I'm not that sappy. And two, I was talking about med school. Still. Let's look at the, the top, computer bro. here see if we have anything. So, so is that that ship that almost ran into us? 
That's the only thing we can look at is that thing. Okay. For my blood. All right, That's going it. down. Well, I'm with you and we'll be fine. Uh, what do we got here? I'm gonna go find Julia. The bullet. Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Oh no, not yet. I got distracted. Let's get that pad, bro. Got it. Let's go up. Come here, you vixen. All oh, kissy kissy. Easy, tiger. We should get back. Right here. <laughs> You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone. Check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Adam? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. You find anything else? This plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless, all of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey, they were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me. I'm sorry. Uh-oh. OK. We got to calm her Baby. down. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not Here cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred. You got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Oh, gosh. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. OK, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait. True story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, alone be- I have a feeling here that the team, the negativity in the team is starting to manifest, and this is the start of the downfall in the relationships from certain party members on this team, and Felice. She's, in the night. she's not very happy right now, obviously. A sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. The woman answers, I live here in the lighthouse. That guy, this guy, Conrad, is super rapey, dude. He has some really rapey vibes here. Really creepy. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an ax. Always an ax. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. So gross. Okay, so who did it? So the woman, uh, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here in the closet. Huh. The husband, eh? <laughs> so is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseas. You're locked in. 
So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. It's his face. And he sees. It's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. Ah! Jesus. Oh. Ah, yeah, ah, so gross. Horrible. Hey, oh, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. Goodness gracious, bro. Oh, come on. That wasn't scary. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required. One more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? <laughs> uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddy. And I'm out. Yeah, this Conrad guy. I got my eyes on this guy. But highly enjoying this game. Very, very impressive so far. I guess we're in chapter two of the game. what he gets for being a jerk and throwing his money around. Douchebag. Mm. Yep, the guy with the eye. The guy from the premonition. Where's, um, brother? Julia there too? Or just the three of them? Hmm. I probably should have talked first. Okay, so it's just it's just the brother. Brad, I think his name is. He's the only one missing here. Julia. You okay? I think so. Decision to un to un gag. Almost free. Hey, so uh, good news, bad news. Bad news? How else the others could get me worse? The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How was that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey. Alex, 
What are they gonna do to us? I don't even wanna know. No one's gonna ask about Brad. I wanna get out of here. I'm in a lot of danger. Guys, we gotta get untied. Like now. Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. He's definitely gonna die. all punches. Oh yeah. You know how to treat a lady, right? <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said that. He's gonna cut me free? What did he just say? Witty, guarded, reckless, generous. Foolhardy and relaxed. Not relaxed right now. Ooh, we just took a big hit with Julia. No. Yeah, we took a big hit with Julia. Me and Brad are good. Okay. Where the heck is Brad? What did he okay. say? I didn't hear. Okay. It's a thick accent. Current objective. Figure out what the get numbers one. Okay. Um, okay. Watch out. Julia, you're coming back. Seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. Cut him, dude. Cut him loose, dude. Is this my brother? No, I didn't. I hope he's all right. All right. Turn around. All right. Uh, anxious, reckless. Uh, oh, we just got guarded back up there. All right. See your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we could take them by surprise. Okay, they're coming. Oh. Fuck. There's another guy in the boat. Fuckers. Guy with the hat. So there's four people now. Hey, hey, are you okay? What did they do to you? I'm fine. They didn't touch me. They asked about. Parents. What? How much money they have. Pirates. Alex, I'm so sorry. 
What? What is it? They took my ring. <sighs> Julia. The fisherman took the... Oh, took Julia's ring. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's one of those... It's not a movie. It's one of those cinematic uh, playthroughs. Um, but it's essentially like playing a movie. Yeah. Now I'm waiting for it to get scary. I know this is a horror game and it's, this is a, it's a, it's pretty enjoyable. I'm enjoying playing this right now, but, um, I'm waiting for it to get scary. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. It's definitely a Koji oh, Magi. just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. Seconds. The storm's eight miles away. They came here on a boat. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. The main guy here. He's got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. If you can distract them, I can get on that boat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. We're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys, distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. I don't know about this idea. I can't choose, though. I don't seven. Conrad, just get to the boat. Bro, he said on seven. All right. Oh, we took. No, we increased with Alex. We're still going down with Julia. Go the heartbeat thing again. Go fuck yourself. Tommy, help! No, escape, dude. You know what? I've had enough. I want you off my boat right now. Get off my damn boat! Go, dude. Get on the boat and get the hell out of there. Oh, shit. I... Go, 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 go. Oh, damn, dude. God. Throw him in with the rest of the damn it, bro. Bring them downstairs. Take this. Use it if you have to. I panicked. Got me caught. Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bande de con. C'est mon bateau. Stop. Ferme la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule. It's about to get aggressive. I feel it. And Brad is still in my A. Olsen! Come here! What happened with the guy with the hat? Which one of you is gonna tell me about this Manchurian goo? Yeah, this is where Brad comes into play, right? Clothes on at least. We're not tied up. There's only one gun, right? We can take these guys. <laughs> Should 
probably grab that knife when I have the chance. Mistakes were made. What the hell, man? You should have escaped when you had the chance. Yeah, I get it. All right, shut the fuck up! There is no harm in just talking. You wanna talk? Keep the volume down. I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has gotta be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's the captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian goal. They're in cahoots. Are you out of your mind? How did you come up with this bullshit? How fucking dare you, you overprivileged asshole? She isn't You're dead. You're all in this together. This was a trap, and you set us that up. That asshole. Put a cork in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I missed it. Oh god, that was funny. Sit still, all of you. You come with me. Hey. Leave her alone. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything? Anything fishy. And there be consequences. Get it. Okay. SOS. We're being raped. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Dude, we read you. Everything okay? Over. Shit, what should I say here? Define. Ask for help. Compliment. Um. Listen to me. We have been kidnapped. I repeat, SOS. We are 20 miles north. Of ah! I had to go for it. I had to go for it. Oh god. Dude, I'm not ready for these cutscenes. These quick time games. Everything's better when we help each other out. You get that? Don't you? These teeth are gross, bro. These giant waves, dude. After number one, real smooth. Dude, is no one leadership, Fliss? What happened? Ooh, man, we're taking that. We took a big hit there with Alex. So, Alex, Julia were both pretty low. Conrad and Brad, the only two that we have. Anyone know about with. Brad? Is he hiding somewhere? Don't say his name. I don't know where he is. Brad stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Oh yeah, great. He could get killed down there. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. Some giant waves, dude. Uh -oh. What the heck is that? Oh, it's the... The ship from the beginning of the game, the WW2 ship. Jesus Christ, bro. It's a 
ghost ship. 